Hans here, the sometimes urban planner, teacher, and geographer, and I'll be your narrator on this video on community wayfinding and branding. Wayfinding was a term that was coined by Kevin Lynch, a famous urban planner and author, in his influential book, The Vision of a City, which came out in 1960. Wayfinding encompasses all the ways in which people navigate a built environment or a natural environment. Wayfinding markers or features can include landscaping, physical geographic features, architectural cues, signs, pathways, etc. It's a complete system, or at least a good wayfinding system is a complete system. It's important to remember that wayfinding is not just about signs. Wayfinding markers come in all sorts of different scales. They can be designed for fast-moving automobile traffic, slow-moving automobile traffic, pedestrians, bicycles, and pretty much everything in between. Wayfinding markers can be at your feet. Wayfinding markers can be on building walls. Here's a wayfinding marker designed for slower moving vehicle traffic. It's also suitable for pedestrians. Wayfinding marker is in the state highway right away for IH 35. Or wayfinding markers can be really old and natural features. As in the case of this eponymous round rock, which is what the city was named after. It's actually a little more anvil shaped than round, and this is a place that marked a convenient low water crossing point for wagons, pioneers, horses, cattle, etc. in the mid to late 1800s. Cities, communities, private entities compete on a marketplace for people's dollars, their loyalty, visitation, tourism, etc., or even for somewhere to move. And whereas businesses are very good at trademarking themselves, some are, some aren't, but you know, you got the Nike swoosh, pretty famous, Oakley O's, you know. But many of us wear brands all, all day long and are advertising for people, in effect. Um, some cities and states are good at it, and some aren't. Some famous examples of uh, public entities doing a pretty good job of marketing themselves with branding or with a logo or slogan would be like the um, I Love New York campaign. Another famous one in Texas is Don't Mess With Texas. The other thing that's important about a, a branding, especially in the public sector, is that it's authentic.
example might be with Austin. Austin may have an official city slogan, motto, logo, etc. However, what people typically think of when they think of Austin is to keep Austin weird. I don't know if it's official or not. That serves as a motto, logo, slogan, brand for that city, um, regardless of whether the city endorses it or not. You see it on t-shirts, etc. So what do you think of when you think of Lockhart? Is it lions? Is it recreation opportunities? Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Burn my hand. Is it recreational opportunities? Let's see if I can get down here. I bled for this city. <laughs> expansive clay, which is often cracked. Is it cotton? Is it home to the world's only barbecue restaurant with a fly through? Or is it a lot of dodges? Is it disc golf? Alright. Is it Texas ghost signs? No, I still can't figure out what the Coke machine is supposed to be. Is it pocket parks? Chisholm Trail. Is it agriculture? Is it barbecue? Is it our courthouse? Thank you. 
on wayfinding and branding. Here in Lockhart, you never know who you're going to meet, what you're going to find right around the next corner. Thanks for watching.